fourth time I'm appearing in the Fringe Festival. The first time I talked about uh, relationships. According to the expert, it's important to hear other people talking about relationships. It improve yours. They didn't get it. The second time I talked about an Italian guy who helps his American boss and his wife get along because uh, their life was falling apart. Uh, the audience loved the effort, but they didn't like the ending when the, the American, uh, the, 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 the boss's wife runs away with the Italian guy. <laughs> it happens in real life too. It was only a play. <laughs> They got mad because I said, if you elect this guy in 2008, you are going to pay $4 for a gallon of gas. They got really mad with the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of show do I have to stay to please you, Minnesotans? Eh? <laughs> but I came up with another idea. Hope you will like it. It will work. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's known that to become a politician, one doesn't have to be too bright, but smart. I have both qualities. One night, I had a dream. I was running for the presidency. I woke up and I said, yes! And I created a political party. The pizza party! <laughs> I'm going to collect the votes from everybody. And I'm sure you too, Minnesotans, are going to vote for me because I know that you like pizza. How? Oh, there are more pizzerias in Minnesota than on the East Coast. Yeah. And this is the state that is going to take me to Washington. And as a reward, I'm going to cut the price of pizza by 50%. I didn't create anything, I just made a mess. 